But continuing instability in the Middle East has made the search for alternative sources of energy a vital concern. On past programs, Lisa Barrow has shown us some possible alternatives, and now she has another one. But she had to go a little farther from home than usual for this one. Three, two, one, and liftoff. Hydrogen. The space shuttle is blasted into orbit by it. But would you ever expect it to be something you'd put in your car's fuel tank? Just outside of Munich at the Lindy Company, we got our first glimpse of a hydrogen-powered BMW 735i as it was being refueled. Now the process takes two to three hours, and the hydrogen is stored in liquid form because it saves weight in space. Hydrogen, however, doesn't liquefy until its temperature reaches a frigid minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit, which means refueling in the future may be done automatically by robots. BMW predicts a fill-up then will take only 10 to 12 minutes. Why have you chosen to work with a vehicle that runs on hydrogen? We have an unlimited supply of hydrogen because hydrogen is a part of water. The second reason is hydrogen is a very clean fuel burned in a motor. The motor emits only water vapor. In order to keep the liquid hydrogen from evaporating, the 24.6 gallon storage tank is super vacuum insulated. That means it's a double-walled tank. The inner tank is surrounded by about 70 layers of aluminum foil and fiberglass. Even with 70 insulating layers, up to 2% of the tank's contents may be lost every day. This particular test car is a dual-fuel car. It can also run on gasoline at the flick of a switch. When running on hydrogen, the car uses more than three times as much of the supercooled liquid as gasoline, giving it a range of about 200 miles on a tank full. Are there any major obstacles that you've had to overcome in working with the hydrogen? Uh, we were working on backfiring into the in intake manifold and um, the NOx emission, the nitric oxide emission of the motor. Every combustion produces uh, nitric oxides also the hydrogen combustion. They are a problem, but we can try to solve this problem by running a lean mixture formation in the motor. Perhaps one of the biggest obstacles to overcome is acceptance of hydrogen by the public. To many, the word hydrogen immediately conjures up visions of the Hindenburg disaster. Ever since then, safety has been a major concern. You see the the place where we put the tank is a, that's the safest place in the car. It's between the two wheels. The tank is very solid. It's much more solid than a benzene tank. And if there's an accident and the tank is damaged and hydrogen streams out, the hydrogen evaporates immediately and it's going up in the air. According to BMW, if hydrogen is handled properly and suitable precautions are taken in vehicle design, hydrogen is no more explosive than conventional fuels. But if by chance there is a leak, hydrogen sensors have been placed in the passenger and luggage compartments which automatically open the rear windows, the roof, and the trunk. There are pros and cons to any alternative fuel. Hydrogen by far is one of the cleanest things going. For all practical purposes, its only byproduct is water. The problem with hydrogen is cost. Any widespread adoption of hydrogen will require massive investment in production and distribution systems. BMW is already involved in a joint venture aimed at developing the entire hydrogen cycle, from a hydrogen producing plant based on solar energy to hydrogen filling stations. Whichever path we take, it's not going to be cheap to clean up the environment. But considering the many benefits of hydrogen, it is an alternative we can't afford to ignore.